Lawmakers have criticized the publicly funded Joint Commission of Taiwan, or JCT, for participating in medical accreditation conferences in China, at which they say Taiwan's sovereignty suffers. They say public money should not be spent on events where the agenda refers to the country as the Taiwan region. A month from now, the Joint Commission of Taiwan plans to visit China's Hubei province to participate in a forum hosted by Chinese government agencies. DPP legislator Lin Jingyi today condemned the commission for spending government funds on an event that denigrates Taiwan's sovereignty. You say that you were invited to the forum, but in reality, during the past two years in China, your role has been listed as a supporting unit or co-organizer. From the start, you've been aware of the fact that you are working with China to organize events. Lin furnished official records showing that in 2016 and 2017, JCT was identified as a supporting unit. This year, the commission saw a promotion to co-organizer. What's more, on the 2017 agenda, talks relating to Taiwan were described as referencing the Taiwan region. The Commission gets 85% of its funding from government contracts and another 14% from government subsidies. Therefore, the nature of this legal entity is not private, but rather quite public. We've been extremely careful about avoiding the term Taiwan region of China. It's true that on the agenda there are a few times when management of the Taiwan region is identified as the subject of our speeches, but more frequently the agenda simply uses the term Taiwan. Ahead of the June conference, lawmakers are keeping a close watch over JCT, threatening to cut its budget if its activities harm national sovereignty.